our next guest caught 750 passes and scored 65 touchdowns in his Hall of Fame career. He's a three-time Super Bowl champion with a new sports-based social media app called Stunt from the Dallas Cowboys, the NFL Network, and FS1. Please welcome Michael Irvin. <laughs> said to Jeremy when he was here, you might be dressed nicer than Michael Irvin. Well, and no, he's not. You, uh, <laughs> because you right. win because you got the handkerchief there in the pocket. Well, yeah, and, and the handkerchief matches my glasses. Oh, it does. That's what it's for. Can, that... I, can I give love to that fan that said that she was here, but yeah, yeah. that's good enough. I love it. Yeah, she's Thank here from you. Dallas. Don't I lie to me. I appreciate you. I asked her who her favorite yeah. Dallas no, Cowboy no, no. player was. She said yeah. the one who's here tonight. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's, Cowboy fans, man. We like, uh, we're like baby kids. We don't die, we multiply. We everywhere. We're just <laughs> everywhere. You, so it's uh, good. Well, you look great. It's like New Year's no, Eve thanks. every time I see you. And um, how are you? Everything Jim, going I'm well? Great, man. You know, I, I love this dude, man. Man, this dude right You know here. I love having you here. We, we have I especially love the stories yeah. you tell me off the air. Right. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> right. right. People got to get so serious. It's like, dude, let's just, you know, we got to share these stories. We You're all right. go through all the same crazy no, stuff No, none of us life. went through any of the crazy stuff you went through. Maybe, maybe and when not I say went crazy, through, I think it makes it sound like it was somehow a negative when I know in reality you and that team had more fun than any group of human beings in the world ever. Right? Yeah. I mean, there's no yeah. way these guys yeah, playing fun. right now, yeah. forget football and toughness and all that stuff, mm. there's no way these guys had parties like you guys had. There's, uh, there's no chance. And I, hey, I, I feel sorry for them, but I, I got mine. I yeah. I got mine here, thank God. You, you know what I'm saying? You were, <laughs> weren't you like the head of the, like you guys had a basketball team too, yeah, right? Yeah, the Dallas Hoopsters. I ran the Dallas Hoopsters. This was an off-season thing where we would all get together and go to these other cities and play charity basketball games. They were, they were so fun. I can't believe yeah. Jerry Jones allowed this to happen. It's such a potential for injury, right? Right. I, I don't think Jerry knew a whole lot about it. I that. see. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I ran the Hoosters. You know what I mean? I thought it was a good chance <laughs> what for What does that mean, running? Time like, what did you do as the leader of the Hoopsters? I mean, I set all the appointments up. I made sure we had the whole hotel floor because there ain't no telling what goes on. So I couldn't have many witnesses outside the players. Right. So you know what I mean? I had to set up all of those things and <laughs> then set up all the evenings for the players. It was family and team bonding. That's how we won all the Super Bowl. I see. That's you fine. think that's what it was? Oh, right. That's what it was. <laughs> that and a little thing in the White House. Stuff like that that brought us together. <laughs> Did you uh, do you see that video of uh, some of I the did. Bills players getting in a uh, thing? Shaq with Lawson, the, yeah, and, and with the Eagles yeah, fans. I, they I, have, I, yeah, Shaq Lawson and yeah. Jordan Phillips, I think. Yeah. yeah. Now, so when something like this happens, this would. The, have you ever been that's in a situation scary. like that where with that, a fan? That's scary right there. That's yeah. scary because, first of all, you just can't go up to the fans, to be honest with you. They, right. they got a right. They're going to do their, do their thing, and they're going to yell. They feel they paid enough money. I've never gone up to the fans and, and messed with anybody. But, I, you know, they, they pay their money. They got a right to, to say things. As long as they're not hitting you and touching you, you can't go up to them. But I have had some situations now. Yeah, like know, what? what? <laughs> 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 I've had, <laughs> you know... It was, I, well, yeah, I think it was like, it's one year we were playing <laughs> the Panthers in the playoffs, right? Now, earlier that season, the commissioner had given me, just call it, let's call it a five-game vacation. I ain't want it, but he gave it to me. Okay. All right. I'm going to call it a five-game vacation. And after I came back, after I came back, we were getting ready to play Carolina. It's a true story, too, in, in, in the playoffs. And before every game, I run and just touch every... Every line, sideline marker. To me, that means I'm gonna get 100 yards. So as I'm coming down, I see these fans, group of fans. They know I had gone through something earlier. They had these shirts on. They all printed Michael Irvin, role model. And I'm, <laughs> I look up, I'm like, appreciate it, appreciate it. And then as soon as I did that, the other guy stood up and they said, Michael Irvin, parole model. I said, oh, <laughs> 
I just, hey, you got to take it. I was it's, like, that's, that's pretty good right pretty there. Good. You just got to take it. It's pretty the, funny. The only way you can get them back is let me go put this, let me go put this touchdown on you. But yeah, that, I thought I'd say, all right, dude. This guy, C.D. Lamb, is having good. some season for the Cowboys. He's yeah, wearing, he is. He's, uh, they're saying he's on pace, which, you know, Doing it, being on pace and actually doing it are two different things, but to break some of your single season records with the Cowboys. Right, and I love it. And he wears your number. Oh, you yeah. do love it. I love it. Oh, I, love, I don't want people, people always ask me this stuff. I, I, I tell them, let me crack your cranium and fertilize your brain. Okay, go ahead. Let me help you out. <laughs> Please do. Let me help you out. The react, why would I want my number retired? When you retire the number, oh, they put it in the rafters. And as soon as you leave time and go to eternity, they say, oh, Lost Michael today. Back to the game. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all you get. That's one the only time you get your flowers. With C.D. Lamb wearing number 88, every Sunday he step on the football field. When he misses a ball, they said Mike Irvin wouldn't have dropped that. <laughs> if he catches it, if he, you know, if he catches the ball, they said look like Mike Irvin. <laughs> so no matter what, okay. I get my flowers every Sunday. I don't understand why everybody don't do this or see it my way. I get flowers. You're talking about it by giving it's me flowers. It's a very healthy That's way of looking at it, That's yeah. Very, right, right, right. I want my flowers while I'm living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone, you know what I mean? You know, you, you are, obviously, you're a Cowboys fan because you've played with the franchise and you're part of their history, but what I, one of the things I admire about you is that you never let that um, love of the team get in your way uh, uh, as a broadcast I do my professional. Job. I don't need to say anything, <laughs> but how about the <laughs> Oh, wait, sometimes you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, that's so funny, man. <laughs> that's nothing like being at the games, though. And, and people just, people go crazy at Yeah, and games. you're one of them. I yeah. love it, too. I'm, you, uh, I'm right up in there with them. I am right up in there. Tell me about this app that you have. It's a sports app? Yeah, it, it's a stunt. Fans. It's the stunt. You got to go to the app store, download the stunt. Now, this is about, because, you know, social media is so big, right? And, and, and with all of my, let's call, history, I like to go on and talk sports. Mm -hmm. They're always bringing in other things when you talk sports. They're trying to drag me over here. I said, can we get back to talking sports, you know? And then the next thing you know, they got you dragged over in the, in the politics. I said, just because I like this player, what does that mean I like? Can we please get back to talking sports? And that's what the stuff is. Only sports. We, get, we talk in sports. If you're not talking about sports, they will remove your comments? We all want, no, no, leave all that up. Bring us some sports. Let and us that's do it. some real sports stuff. And, 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 and sports, sports the way we do sports. Let me tell you what I think is so great about sports. It's what we pull up out of and help us, what we pull up out of sports to help us with everyday life. And, and everybody can do what I do. Everybody has thoughts about sports and they want to share them. So the stunt gives you that opportunity to share. I see. And is, there's no dating on the site, right? It's not for horny, um, like, single Dallas Cowboy fans or anything like that? Well, you know what? That, I, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it's no, it's no secret. There's a lot of places I could have gone with that one, but I yeah. may lose my jobs. My job sucks. You are, all of them. You played them. a role in bringing Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson together after they got, these guys were great friends at one time. They split apart, egos got in the way, and you played a role in bringing them together, yes? Well, well we, we all try and understand, uh, try to play a role. Now, Jerry's Jerry, and you know, when you make that kind of money, you make your own decision. But you just keep pushing at it and keep pushing at it. We've been pushing at it for years to get Jerry, Jimmy in the Ring of Honor, where he belongs. Right. And Jerry finally gave him that opportunity and put him in his rightful place December 30th, Which is we're nice. going to elect him Which in the nice. Ring of Honor. And, and let me tell y'all something. This means everything to me. You guys, I'm serious. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy was, Jimmy's the world of me. And I told you guys, remember last time I came, I told you about that fight I got into the first day here over a steak on the training table. And it started a fight. And Jimmy didn't send me home. I'm always loved Jimmy. Yeah. I thought he was going to send me right back to the ghetto that day. And he <laughs> didn't. And because he didn't, 
I got millions of dollars. Now, Michael, <laughs> what I'm wondering, <laughs> given your experience with this, what would you say to Hall and Oates right now? What would Michael Irvin <laughs> say to Daryl Hall and John Oates? Go right. ahead, they're probably right. gonna watch this. Well, 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 listen, let me tell you something. I, I always tell them that friendships are unique and important. You know, you cannot allow anything, anything to come between great friendships. I, I don't know what else to tell them. I think that's a pretty good... I don't know what else to tell them. But, but all our seriousness, all our seriousness, you think about it this way. Like, I think about with Jimmy. Well, I, I, you, we can't write our stories without one another, you know? So we've each played an important, intricate role in our lives. And, and, and I, I'm serious about that, you know, about holding on to those friendships. You know, Troy, Emmett, me, we, we never had any kind of falling out, you know? Probably because we went through so much hell and they wanted to know so years. much about each other. Right, and we, yeah. but, but we grew up. So, and we grew, we grew up together. So, you know, I'm glad to see Jimmy and Jerry mending that situation. When I got to Dallas, Jimmy was the first one told me, you know, I got a friend going to buy the Cowboys next year. I'll be over there with you. You know, I said, oh, okay. And when I first got there, we had some bad players. They were there for money. And, and, and you know, they, every time we lose, they'll come tap me and say, man, don't, come on, man, don't be crying. I said, what do you mean don't be crying? What do you mean don't be crying? We lost again. I lost two games in my three years at Miami. We were just losing, and they were okay with it. Man, when we got Jimmy that next year, I said, y'all know that thing that, that black folks all talk about, that we don't snitch? <laughs> I'm snitching on <all> <laughs> I sniffed on everybody. Michael Irvin, his app is called Stunt. You can download it now. Thank you, Michael. And we'll be right back with Jimmy Fallon and Megan Trainer.